Shoppers queued outside malls this morning to celebrate the start of Level 2 with some retail therapy. Businesses that have had to shut up shop for the entirety of lockdown couldn't wait to get back into the swing of things today, and their customers were equally happy to see them. Our reporter, Nita Blake Person, and cameraman Simon Rogers headed out to see who was shopping. The start of Level 2 meant Chris Now Chan was straight to the shops this morning. School shoes, school bags and drink bottles. That's If I didn't have to, I don't think I would because I think it's going to be crazy today. But yeah, that's kind of why, I'm, why we're here. She joined dozens of shoppers queued outside the doors of Sylvia Park before 8am. The mall's reopening causing plenty of cause for celebration. Welcome in to Kmart Sylvia Park. Shoppers were after the basics. I'm going to get some stuff for my kid. So he's getting really cranky at home, so he just uh, broke all his toys and everything. So I just need to get some new ones. I just need some a few uh, gym clothes. As well as the treats they'd missed out on over the past seven weeks. Getting our nails done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Been waiting, excited about it. I'm a nail biter, so I was like, whole lockdown, I'm like, come on, come on, I want to get my nails done. Really excited about being out, whereas normally I'm like, ah. Can't be bothered, but today it's like, woohoo! <laughs> Back to normality, I guess. But there were plenty of signs that normal doesn't look quite like what it used to. Physical distancing means limits on people in shops. Some have lines and security, others registers to get into stores, as well as sanitizers and occasionally masks. Sylvia Park Centre Manager Helen Ronald says it's great to be back in action, but health and safety remains paramount. Um, obviously extra people within the bathrooms and around the amenities. Um, we're also just making sure we're going through and doing high touch points during the day more frequently. It's just that rotation. Um, we've also done something that they call fogging in the system. Um, so it's actually where you go through and do all the high touch points with a product that kills 99.9% of um, germs, including COVID, and actually stays, has a residue and stays on the, um, on the surface for a few weeks. They're using an app to keep on top of the number of people in the mall. We've got a live counting system, so it counts everybody in and everybody out. When we do get to our capacity, or close to our capacity at 80%, it's going to send me a text and uh, let us know that we're getting close, and then we can do a review and decide whether to shut it down at 80 or shut it down at 100%. I think it can be some sort of normal, but I think people will expect it to go back to what it was, and it's obviously going to take a long time to go back to what it was, but we just want to make it feel like it's as normal as possible for everybody coming through. Some stores here have managed to get rent relief, but aren't sure what the future holds. For now, they're just happy to be back in business. We're really missing the work, finally. We're back to work. We've been out for so long, so it's a bit weird coming back, but it's definitely exciting. I woke up early this morning because I couldn't, like, I was too excited to come to work, so yeah. <laughs> for Checkpoint, Nita Blakeperson.